it's Steph back with another rampant design tutorial for Final Cut Pro 10. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily add film effects to your next edit. Now, as you can see here, I already have a small edit going, and this would be a nice piece for, say, a resort or a vacation destination, but I feel it needs a bit more style. And I'm thinking a film look would definitely stylize this footage and make it look more interesting. So let's go ahead and start adding rampant 4K film effects to our piece. I'm going to stop that. I'm going to rewind. And as you can see up here, Rampant has everything from vignettes to film scratches. There's some scratches here, film dirt. Now I want to have all three of these combined into one. So I found this clip right here, which has the vignette, the scratches, and the dirt. I'm going to add that down. I'm going to cinch that back a bit, just like that. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the size. As you will see right here, it appears that my 4K clip is smaller than my HD clip. Well, this is because Final Cut's automatically going to size my 4K clip to fit in my HD timeline. To fix this is really simple. We're going to go right over here. We're going to change fit. Now if you wanted the 4K to be native, you would choose none. But I actually want to see the sides with the vignette, so I'm going to choose fill. Just like that. That's perfect. Now the next thing I want to talk about is the blend mode. Most rampant overlay products, you would use a screen or an add mode to remove the black. Well, in this case, we actually want to keep the black, which is the scratches in the dirt, and remove the white. To do that, we're going to click on that, and we're going to come over here and we're going to click multiply. That's perfect. Okay, now if I play this through, you'll see the scratches appear, the vignette is there, the dirt is there, but the white is gone. Perfect, that's what we want. Okay. I'm going to stop that. And the very last thing I want to do is Rampin also has light leaks in this pack, and I'm going to add some of those just for some more interest. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one and grab it down here to the beginning. And I'm going to cinch it back to about right there. And I'm going to use the next, for my next two cuts, I'm going to actually use the light leaks as a transition. And to do that, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to skim through here, and I'm going to find the point that's sort of the brightest, like right there. And I'm going to put a mark. Okay? And I'm going to bring that down. That mark's going to allow me to actually line up my edit point down here with my mark. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to come up here, find the brightest point, which is probably right there, put a mark, come down here, and match it up. Now because these are overlays, we're going to highlight all of them, and we're going to come over here and change the blend mode from normal to screen. Okay? And I'm going to rewind this, and we're going to look at the whole thing. So there you go, in just a matter of minutes, I've added a light leak and a film look to this edit in no time flat. So simple, so easy. If you'd like to try out some sample clips from Rampant's Film Effects Pack, head over to 4kfree.com. Here you can find film effects plus hundreds of other 4K effects Rampant is giving away for free. For free. If you're interested in any more information about film effects, head on over to rampantdesigntools.com. If you want to say hey or have a tutorial request for me, hit me up on Twitter at Final Cut Steph. As always, until next time, bye!